Hello again, it's uh, Mr. Pelagonian back with another video for the Pelagonium and Geranium Society. First video for, I think, might be getting on for three weeks now because not a lot's going on really. Uh, stuff is just slowly growing through as we enter this uh, late summer period. Um, so I'm, today I'm going to go through a couple of things uh, with regard to our standards. You remember our standard cuttings? that we planted up uh, about three to four weeks ago. Um, they're just ready to have a little bit of work done on them now, so we'll run through what's going to go on with them. But we'll, we'll have a little, little look around our greenhouse, see where we are at this stage, which is now we're getting into the, the latter period of August. One thing that is interesting is that the weather in the UK has changed a bit over the last couple of weeks. We had a very, very long, hot, dry spell up until about the turn of the month. But since we've been in August, uh, the weather has turned relatively humid, but uh, a bit of wet with it. Um, and that in turn has actually led uh, to some of my younger plants, I've got some younger plants up here, um, getting a little bit of botrytis, strangely. Um, you don't normally see botrytis really in the summer, but when you get a lot of humid, damp weather, uh, it can kick it off a bit. The other thing um, is an example here. With this sort of change to uh, slightly different weather conditions, we've had a, a few cooler days um, and a, a bit of a change in weather and you're getting this yellow leaf, sort of yellow reddish leaf syndrome, uh, which you do get. All the new growth is nice and fresh and dark green. That, that's not a problem at all. But um, when you get a lot of sort of vary conditions in the weather, it does put the plants under a little bit of stress, particularly young plants like this that are just finding their, uh, their new root systems into, into the new fresh compost. Um, and yeah, they're just under a little bit of stress, but they're growing through. I mean, it's still relatively warm in the UK, but uh, it gives you an idea that you can get that. And we can see, I mean, I don't know whether you'll be able to pick this up. There is a leaf there, that fresh leaf um, that's growing there has just got the merest hint of a bit of botrytis on it. And that is just the damp conditions. Um, damp conditions in and around the greenhouse. You give them a water, they obviously soak it up. This one's obviously been relatively freshly watered because it's quite damp on top. But the damp conditions and then you'll get some rain and uh, this sort of highlights the, uh, the problem that you get, particularly with the zonal types where you can get a bit of botrytis. So it's something to start keeping an eye on. Right now, one thing that we've got, we've got my standard, these standards that I potted up. Now I potted these on the 4th of August, it's, I'm filming this today on the 23rd. So they've had a, a good, uh, t a good, best part of three weeks in the pot and they've grown on quite quickly. Now what I'm going to do today is take some of these lower shoots off. Because now that the plant has got established in this pot, I want the effort to go into growing up taller. So these shoots, now that I know it's really, the roots have really got going down well, I've got root coming out the bottom. So I, I'm gonna cut off these lower side shoots. But please note, it's only the lower side shoots. There is only one on this particular plant. Uh, and I think I've got others where there is, is just one. There's another example of a plant that's just got one lower side shoot, but that is getting quite sturdy and quite substantial. Now another thing with these that you need to keep an eye out for are buds, uh, flower buds. You need to be taking those off because we want the strength of the plant to go into growing. We don't want the strength of the plant to go into flowering. So, um, you know, it's important to do that so that the, the full effort of the growth of the plant goes into getting height on it. Right, so we're just going to have a look now and I'll get a close up and show you what I'm doing to these. Right, now this has got a, a single side shoot that is growing fairly near to the base of the, of the main stem. And I'm going, to, I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to do it more or less right next to the, uh, the main stem. Be careful not to over, over crop. Um, now, I'm just sort of looking 
at the top of the plant. Don't worry about getting straightness at this point. You do not need to worry about that. We'll sort that out at a later stage. The question I've got is whether there's another shoot there that I could take out. But it, it's not formed enough yet on this example. There's another shoot there that's just beginning to break out, but it's not formed enough. So I'm not going to worry too much about that on, at the moment. So what I'm going to do, I'm just literally going to put my knife... This is a clean knife, um, I've done uh, my cleaning and I'm just literally, I'm just sort of seeing that uh, whether you can, how easy it is for you to see that, I think you're about there. And I'm just literally taking my knife and cutting down along the main stem. Use a very sharp knife, quite easy to do and when, when you've got a a stem that's relatively neatly developed uh, and they're relatively straightforward to cut off. Now if that was a bit bigger you could argue that you could use that as a cutting. Um, so, uh, But I, I've got plenty of cuttings of Robin Louise that we did when I was doing these so that's just going to go in my uh, little bin there. Uh, the thing now is to have a look uh, just to see, now the thing now is just to have a look to see that is a nice clean cut I've made there. I'm also going to take that leaf off. And so we can already begin to see that we're getting a little bit of a sort of standard type shape. Uh, I'm going to take this other leaf off. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I've got quite a good canopy of growth going on up here now. And that is plenty to keep the plant growing nicely, growing healthily. Uh, it's got plenty of life. Um, I said when, if you start cutting off side shoots too quickly, you can run into the problem that you haven't got enough growth on this sort of top part of the plant to sustain it. And it's very easy to overwater. Um, the other important thing that I should have mentioned just earlier is make sure the plant is on the dry side. I always mention this usually before, but uh, I've forgotten in this instance, but before doing this, make sure the plant is on the dry side. You can see this is all very dry compost, um, so you know this is ideal for doing this sort of cutting back. Uh, but that's it, I'm not going to do any more with that one. We'll have a look at one of our other ones to see if maybe I'm going to take a bit more further up. But um, that's growing actually relatively straight. Uh, so that, that's probably going to be a, a good example. That there, if you're wondering what that was, that was actually a flower bud that I took out early doors. Right, now with this one, there's another deep base side shoe growing out, which we take off. But there is a relatively substantial side shoot further up the plant. And I think I will take that out primarily because I've got an awful lot of good growth above it. So I can afford to lose that. The key thing, as I've already said, always make sure you've got a good canopy of growth to sustain the plant while it's growing. Uh, so that you don't... Um, so that you don't run the risk, realistically, of overwatering uh, uh, and that sort of problem that you could get. Um, so we'll, we'll just do this one. So we'll go down and take this one off. Again, I'm just literally running down the length of the main stem. This one's a slightly broader um, cut. So there we are. Right, now, further up, I've got another one, and I think I'm going to take this other one out. Now, I am going to, again, this is very dry, and I am going to take this other side shoot out. We've got another one that's growing out here, and it is getting quite substantial. And the decision that I've got to make now is, is it going to start really taking um, strength away from that main stem and I think this is. So on this one I'm just going to do exactly the same thing again.
and there we are it's a relatively easy one it's quite a high stem block the leaf will probably come out that's supporting it and there we are there's another little cut off so there we have that one um, now one could argue that I could take this big leaf off here which is providing th this was probably originally the original stem break for this growth above um, but I'm going to leave that on uh, for this case because it adds to the canopy that's there. I want to keep that good growth. Um, now interestingly, if we go in here and I get a bit closer, there is actually just a smidge of botrytis starting to come on these. Uh, so it just shows you the sort of damp weather that we've had. Uh, in the southern UK over the last sort of few weeks. Very humid, we've had very humid weather and this is in a relatively open plant. Um, now they are relatively straight. I don't need to worry too much about straightening anything else but we don't need to worry about that at the moment. We simply do not need to worry about straightening. If there's a slight bend over uh, in, the, in the length of the stem, if there's a slight tilt which there is a slight tilt in this one, uh, but I'm not going to worry about that at this stage. We do not need to worry about that at this stage. So uh, at the moment it's just uh, you know cutting off some of the lower stems to ensure that the growth is going into growing the top. So there's a couple done. I've got two that need identical treatment, which I'll do at, a, at a just uh, later on this afternoon. Okay, so that's, uh, that's those standards. We're, um, we'll see how they progress over the uh, coming months. Now, with regard to the rest of my greenhouse, yeah, stuff is beginning to um, really sort of grow away. I've got these large, huge zonartic plants here. Um, they're getting very big. Um, I mean, I've got a, a good number that are growing now. Something, I have actually given one up the end here, this is, this is Amazon here, which is flowering away, got a nice bloom on it. But I have actually strangely found that I've gotten white fly on them, which I wasn't expecting. I had to give that one a spray today, because um, it was absolutely covered in white fly. Uh, there's my large, I mean, talking of large sort of off-centre standards, I suppose you would call them. Uh, I don't really know what you call it, you can't really call it a standard, but it is a trunked plant, I call it a trunk plant. This is all grown back, you may remember that I uh, really hacked this back in the, early, in, in the early part of the summer after its initial bloom. And it's all come back now and it's just starting to bud up, so I will get some bloom off that probably in September. Um, so that's quite nice. Now this is a... Um, a red coloured bloom, absolutely monstrous bloom, Lara Largo, a zonartic. Um, I do like to grow my zonartics pretty large, uh, and that has got a monstrous bloom, huge head, big, as big as my hand really, I mean you can see my hand next to it. Um, massive, uh, really gorgeous, but uh, a lot of plants, um, a lot of regals are still going. Well, now the other thing up here, I have potted on all these um, regal seedlings. Do you remember I took some regal, a lot of regal seedlings, and they're all growing away. I, I pricked them out and potted them on, uh, and they've all grown on quite nicely. I think the regals have liked the slightly cooler conditions over the last two to three weeks since I pricked them out, uh, and they're growing on all really quite speedily, as you would expect seeded uh, plants to. Uh, so we'll have to see how they go and see how they overwinter and then we'll see what the blooms are like um, next year. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed the hints and tips for today. Um, I'll hopefully see you again in the next couple of weeks at some stage as we go into September. Uh, in the meantime, don't forget to click the subscribe button below if you're new to a visit to me, and we'll follow our intrepid little standards through their life into the autumn. So catch me next time, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers for now.